Hey everyone, Big Paulie back for a brand new video and we are in a new month. Yes, we are in the Christmas months itself. I can't believe it's come around so quick. Oh, flipping hell. Yeah, uh, so that means let's take a look at what I had delivered and picked up in the month of November. Yeah, some good stuff. Let's have a look. Okay, so the first thing... Um, I want to show is the carry-on box set. Now, I originally was sent this by the lovely people over at Imprint. I watched the films, but I decided to pass it on to Kermit because I, I know he likes his uh, carry-on and he was collecting all the box sets. Um, then Neil in the um, in the Big Paulie group pointed out that this was going dirt cheap. Um, and I grabbed it. I think it was Amazon. I'm pretty sure it was Amazon in America. Yeah, um... I think so, or Spain. I can't remember. One of the Amazons. It was a month ago. I can't remember that far back. Blimey. <laughs> yes, and um, it was something like 12 euros, which works out at probably about nine quid or something. It was something stupid. It was less than a tenner. Uh, but with shipping, it pushed it to about £12.50. So I figured you're not going to get it th that price anywhere else. So go and buy it. So I did. I grabbed it. The first four, you know... Um, movies in volume one of the box set collection one so hopefully one day they'll do the others as well i think for maybe they have a, maybe a surplus of them uh and they need to get rid of them uh it's got a few creases on, on the back of the box uh but it's not too bad it's not too bad i did have to replace one or two of the cases though because the uh the plastic hubs were broken but anyway that is carry on collection one uh, Blu-ray that I picked up a couple of weeks ago is Thelma, which was really good. Uh, I have talked about this. Uh, you will see it in my stuff that I can be bothered to watch. Uh, but it was a, a nice little road trip movie about a little old lady that gets scammed and decides to get on a motorability, motorability scooter, go across city and try and confront the people that stole her money. It was, it was a pretty good little film. But as I say, I will talk talk more about it in that video. Uh, of course, Criterion have had a sale on and I thought I'd grab a couple that I knew that I would watch because I wouldn't watch all of Criterion stuff because a lot of it is weird and <laughs> indie stuff and, yeah, weird. So I, I picked up Midnight Cowboy. Also picked up uh, Risky Business as well as well as The Breakfast Club and Tootsie. So these are the main ones that I knew that I would watch uh, one day. I'm going to have to have like a Criterion month where I just watch nothing but my Criterion uh, physical collection. So I think I must have about 10 titles by now. Uh, next up, we have an Arrow title. Yes, Arrow. This is Invasion, The Invasion. Uh, this is Daniel Craig and Nicole Kidman. It's a bit like The Invasion of the Body Snatchers. I thought it was quite good. I thought it was actually quite a good film. Yeah. Um, lots of tension, edge of the moment, edge of the seat moments. Uh, trying to outwit these creatures that have been, well, these humans that have been infected from a residue that came down on like a meteor. Uh, or was it part of the space shuttle? I think it was part of the space shuttle that broke up on orbit. And yeah, it came down. As I say, it's a month ago. I can't remember. It was either a meteor or it was a it was a space shuttle. Now you know why I have to review films after I've watched them. Because <laughs> give me a couple of weeks, I can't even remember anything about them. Uh, next up, we have Trap, M Night Shyamalan. Uh, I enjoyed this film. It's going to look and sound brilliant uh, in 4K. So I'm looking forward to getting that one on on the old. Uh, TV. Yes, we have <laughs> Blazing Saddles. Uh, awesome film, Mel Brooks film, Gene Wilder. Uh, definitely have to watch this. Um, it's not something that you're going to find on BBC. So <laughs> my advice would be to pick up the, the physical copy. Uh, now, I picked up Gladiator. This was before I went to see the new film because I realised I didn't have it on 4K. Uh, and I bought it cheap. Uh, for the intention of actually putting the 4K disc 
in my gladiator gladi gladiator gladiator steelbook so that's what i did uh next up we've got a bit of uh goldie horn uh, this is limited to a thousand copies this is a steven spielberg film uh, the Sugarland Express, probably one of the very few Spielberg films I've not seen. Um, it's probably maybe a few. I don't think I've seen The Post with Tom Hanks. And I'm not sure I've seen 1941. Uh, but this is very early. This is like right at the beginning of his career. So uh, looking forward to watching that. It don't look like Goldie Orn, does it? Anyway, we'll, we'll look forward to watching that one. Uh, of course, I had to pick up Deadpool. Yeah, Deadpool and Wolverine. This is the 4K steelbook. This is the Wolverine edition. Uh, I, am, I am having a custom slipcover coming for this one that's got some foam inside it. Uh, it really does look nice. So um, I look forward to getting that in the next month or two. But anyway, that is Deadpool and Wolverine. And I found this one in CEX in Ashford, I believe it was. Absolute mint condition, and it was cheap as well. Plus, I had a bit of a voucher. Blade. So this is the Blu-ray version of Blade. It does have some nice embossing on there. Look at that. How that sword shines in your face. Yeah, there is only one blade. There will only ever be one blade. <laughs> there we go. And it's got the J card in there as well. And uh, some disc. <clears throat> Next up, we have a still book that I still see <coughs> in HMV, so it didn't sell out. And that is Borderlands. Um, now, I don't care what anybody says. I had fun with this film. I saw it at the IMAX. It looked fantastic. It sounded fantastic. I got on with uh, with a lot of the characters and i had fun with it so it's a fun popcorn saturday afternoon flick uh, next up we have the terminator this is the 4k steelbook uh, i have watched this already uh, the 4k quality is fantastic and i watched with the dolby atmos soundtrack which was kicking as well so uh, if you're wondering if to pick up the terminator on 4k do it do it uh, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. Uh, this is the 4K steelbook. Uh, I'm waiting for a replacement for this at the moment uh, because this one came unfortunately dented at the top there. So hopefully the replacement will be here in a couple of days and I hope that's not dented as well because it's coming from Amazon. So it'll be the bleeding house of the dragon thing all over again you know get another one dented another one dented another one dented and then they'll say sorry we can't give you any more well it's not my fault is it you're the ones that sent it out in stupid packaging <laughs> anyway there we go that is beetlejuice beetlejuice the 4k still book and then i realized i actually didn't have the original beetlejuice uh still book uh, it's got some nice debossing on the title there All back there and uh 4k discs and a blu-ray disc inside uh, and i have shown this off in the other video my uh, new release pickups video i uh, also picked up alien romulus really nice steel book there really enjoyed this film better than alien resurrection <coughs> but that's not saying much is it Better than Alien vs. Predator Requiem. <laughs> That's not so much either. Anyway, there we go. Nice still book. Very nice still book. Uh, and then we have Star Trek The Motion Picture, the 4K still book. Really nice glossy artwork on there. Uh, and also comes with a nice thick book. Uh, and ending off with a couple of box sets, uh, I grabbed this. I grabbed Blake 7. Uh, this is the collection, Series 1. Uh, interesting to watch this because all the special effects have been redone. So uh, we're kind of going to get in a Star Trek Next Generation type of thing. And uh, the original series of Star Trek. It's a shame that Babylon 5 actually didn't redo all their special effects. 
uh, on their Blu-ray box set. I suppose that would have taken quite a while, going through five, five years or worth. Five years worth, yeah. But anyway, I'm looking forward to watching this. Um, I'm hoping they're going to be releasing more. But that is Blake 7. And then I have my House of the Dragon Season 2. This is the 4K limited edition box set. And comes with lots of cards and stuff like that. And a really nice steelbook. And of course, Watership Down had to grab this one um, on BFI. And uh, it's a PG, but it's brutal. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Uh, it's not a steel book. Uh, it is a regular BFI. But if I ever get my hands on a Watership Down steel book, I might just swap it out and put the steel book in there. Uh, nothing on the back, though. Very surprised. Yeah, they could have put some, like, torn up rabbits with blood and... <laughs> pouring out or something on the back there uh, and the last one which came this weekend uh, is the galaxy quest limited edition uh, collector's edition box set 4k there with a really nice steel book uh, and uh, yeah really nice uh, i did unbox this one as well also in my uh, new release pickups so there we go. Uh, as I say, did I say at the beginning? I think I might have said at the beginning in the other video that I've just done. Um, I didn't get Godzilla minus one. Um, that's still waiting to be delivered. So hopefully that will be delivered the following day, next, tomorrow. So uh, you'll probably see that one on Wednesday. But anyway, that is what I've had delivered and picked up uh, over the last four weeks. Um, of course, December the 2nd is an absolutely manic day for new releases. Uh, I have had the delivery of most of mine, thankfully. Um, but uh, I'm just waiting for a replacement for the Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice Steelbook and my Godzilla Minus One, which hopefully should be here tomorrow. But uh, there we go. That is everything for November. So hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, like it by giving it some thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, comment and share. See you on the next video very soon. Bye bye.